convert to the inside again. And then you try to get a calf crank. Sometimes you get it, sometimes you're not. There's some likely you'll get it. If he knows jiu jitsu. And then we go back to the 50 50 and we'll have it for the So, here comes the headquarters. So, again. Well done the passing from here, cars through my leg. So I need to get my shin to shin. So again, I come up my elbow, place this on here. What's good back? Get shin to shin. Again, if I'm inverting to the outside, I'll keep that shin to shin orientation. If I'm inverting to the inside, I want this. Okay. So my left hand's coming under. I just put my shoulder between his legs as I invert underneath. Okay. So I like this these double under legs. Pulls a leg out and you go for one leg or the other. But I'm going for the same attack again. So I lift my hips. And again, if I'm going on his right leg, I'll turn my head kind of perpendicular. So rather than being head to head, I'm trying to look into the car's left ear. this through. Again, car's pushing that foot down. But before he pulls his leg out, I'm going to move my body back this way. I make a triangle. I have to be careful of the knee bar here. So I make my triangle, I come out the back door, and I bring both hands through, and I lift my hips to get the calf crank. But because car's connected to the mat, to straighten his leg, his foot's on the mat, he just straighten his leg straight up in the air. So from that position, I uncross my triangle, I extend both feet up, and I get my hip above car's knee. I turn my hip, and I'm going to take it down. Now I'm going to have the same move on the ground. But, because Karn's foot's off the mat, he won't be able to straighten his leg. So, again, I want to get to my strong position on the 50-50, so I grab this pants, I turn my hip, to get Karn's, the main knee's pointing away from Karn, I'm going to put in an outside hook, okay? So it comes from um, over the top, outside, and this hand is going to find So now, from here, I set up the combat base. Bring my foot up, combat base, and back the car inside. Drop across my belt line. I let go of the belt grip here, and I find the top of the thigh. So now I'm going to roll over my right shoulder. I'm already in the calf crank position. I'm trying on my legs. Okay, it's difficult now because I've got a bend in the leg for Carl to get that back again because he can't put his foot on the mat. Whereas before when he had his foot on the mat, he used that as a lever to straighten his leg. So usually you'll get this. But if he's a real brute, yeah, I can uncross back into the 50. So he turn his hips. Okay. Outside the hook comes in as I find belt, belt grip here. This foot comes up, so now I'm coming up combat base. I want this shin across my belt line here and here. Okay. Then from that position I let go of the belt and I'm going to grab the leg of calf cranking. My hand comes between my legs. My shin's already in place. So when I roll all the way over, make the triangle, I've got my body lock, this foot's in my hip. Sometimes you get it from when he's standing, if it's a surprise, more than often, you straighten his neck to the it. So again, from headquarters, switch my grips, invert, move this through. I'm going for the last move, but before Carl pulls his leg out, steps out and I can attack this leg, this hand swims through and I move my hip back, triangle my leg, I'm going to bend in it, I reach through and body lock, and I just drive in. But because his foot's in the mat, he can easily straighten this, and I haven't quite got him. So I just uncross my triangle, bring both legs out the back, stick them up in the air, and lift my hip above his knee. And now I just turn his knee to the 50 again. So, keep the grip, I turn to my strong side, like if my knee's pointing away, bring in my hook to control the leg as my other leg comes back. My right hand finds the far hip. Because if I don't, the car can hip escape back. I don't want that. See why I've lost the knee? Back. I need 
my leg in front of his knee. So I find this and use my hand as a base to come up. Now it's coming up to my combat base position. My knee shoot across my belt line. So this grip there is to the leg. So it's ready in place. So when I hold over my right shoulder, I'm already in this combat position. Straighten the leg and I can't get it back. It's a 